Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes uh, here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 16th of October. Starting off with AFC Energy, where it uh, appears that we've got uh, falling wedge formation here, and a breakout would be an end of day close above, uh, let's say, six and a quarter pence, so very, very close to that at the moment. And uh, up, initial upside here, the 50 day moving average, 7.53. Uh, next up, a stock which is probably one of the most uh, covered in this particular slot, uh, Angus Energy. Uh, here we've got this uh, line finally broken yesterday from uh, August, running through uh, what's that, the uh, eight and a half pence area, really basically above that. We're hoping for the move, a uh, long awaited move, up to the top of this rising trend channel from May at uh, 13 pence. Uh, stop loss could be as tight as the 50 day moving average at 8.12 pence. Uh, so, uh, uh, reasonable setup there on that uh, situation. Uh, active energy uh, stock I've uh, resisted looking at for a couple of days, but uh, we had the uh, gap down uh, last week to the floor of this uh, nearly a falling wedge formation, and uh, then the gap higher uh, this week. Uh, so that is a reasonable bounce off that initial target while we hold above uh, the second gap, uh, the two day uh, island uh, reversal. Uh, gap uh, at two pence is uh, the 50 day moving average of 2.81 but only back above that uh, on an end of day or weekly close basis would really get us back up to the uh, dizzy heights of four to five pence seen earlier in the year so early situation there on uh, active energy uh, capex is next and uh, here interesting uh, little jig for the shares with the break above the uh, falling uh, trend channel there uh, at 11 pence via a gap, uh, peaked around uh, 14 pence, and then came back to fill that gap and back up again. So 11 pence while we're above that, uh, looking for a more extended breakout for capex and heading towards hopefully 16 pence, which was uh, the turn of the year resistance. On to a stock which I haven't covered for a little while now, uh, Encon Daisy Energy. Uh, looks encouraging here with the rising 200-day moving average and uh, really needs to break uh, the top of this um, wedge formation at 7 pence, end of day close above that, but then hopefully take the shares back uh, on for another retest of the main 10 pence uh, resistance. Ideally, in the meantime, there's no break back below the 200-day uh, moving average at 6.45. Uh, stop loss back below six, uh, as you can see from the chart. Stock which uh, uh, it seems to be featuring every day in the rises uh, in the um, in the in the lower end of the market is uh, Newmark Security. Here we've had the breakout of this uh, uh, wedge formation uh, that was seen, uh, well, it's really been in place uh, for over a year now. Uh, looking for a target there at the uh, resistance line, uh, 1.8 pence. Uh, and that uh, should be on tap over the next uh, uh, two to four weeks, especially while we hold above uh, the broken resistance uh, from November at 1.2 pence. Uh, onto a stock which uh, I've managed to resist looking at uh, for some days now, but uh, back with it now at uh, seven and a half pence. The breakout here, really, uh, the break of five and a half pence, which was the initial 2018 resistance and the target here. Uh, while we hold above, uh, well, let's say six pence now, uh, is as high as 10 pence at the top of that rising 2016 price channel. Uh, Sol Gold is uh, next. I had a bit of a run around um, just before the uh, uh, gap higher today with the uh, testing old uh, resistance as uh, new support uh, at the 30 pence area. Uh, was uh, in play yesterday as well. So clearly uh, some people anticipating today's vast move to the uh, gap to the upside. Uh, we were looking for an ambitious 60 pence target uh, going uh, well as long ago as September. Um, obviously that looks rather more realistic now. Uh, probably need to break uh, the 45 pence level on a weekly close basis uh, to encourage others to get into the stock now. But uh, 60 pence, the technical target while we hold above uh, that uh, September peak. Uh, around there at the uh, 37 and a quarter pence level. Uh, finishing off with uh, yesterday's big mover, uh, Velocis. Uh, here we see how uh, well a falling wedge breakout can work. It doesn't have to be a very long one either. Uh, we had the uh, uh, island gap um, reversal there uh, and then the breakout through the resistance line there from September. The view of this stage is we should at least hit uh, the 50 day moving average at 6.87 after that. Hopefully, uh, the 200-day line 
and that uh, gap from July could be the target stop loss on the whole thing at the moment back below 5 pence. That's it from me. More updates tomorrow.